everyone so today uh, I have been I've been giving a lot of thought to the water search um, in Kingsport by Wars Path Bridge I may not post that video first I may post this one first so I have to be careful what I say and how I say it but I've been thinking a lot about it and um, I did make a Facebook post I didn't I don't want the police to look bad uh, don't want to say anything negative about them because they do the best they can uh, but in this case there were a few things that were that bothered me a little bit and it was number one when I showed up at least the first officer I talked to had no clue why I was there he was you know can I help you sir kind of thing kind of arrogant which is typical with a lot of cops not all of them but uh you know, I almost wanted to ask him, have you not been briefed on what's going on here today? Like, why we're here in the first place? Um, and then the other thing I noticed was uh, the the guy I talked to who heads up the dive team, amazing, amazing man, a uh, long career, 30, 40 years, I think he said. He's over 70 years old. No, no inkling of retirement because he just loves doing this type of work, uh, diving and recovery. Um, but... A few things bothered me about the search, and the first was that he hadn't seen the video. He hadn't seen even a still picture. The detective that called me and had me go out there, I thought I was going to meet him. I didn't. Um, I thought he was going to send them a picture, at least, of what to look for, what the object looks like, and he hadn't, because the head of the dive team... Uh, I, I told him, I'm like, have you guys seen the video? And he, he said no. And so he said, uh, try to take a look on my phone, which is a little screen, so you can't see anything very well. So he asked me to email it to him, and I did. And he said if it's, uh, he'll take a look on a big screen, and then uh, if they have to, they'll go back. But that bothered me because they really should have been briefed on what to look for. So they may not have even known what they were looking for, which is a little strange. I did make a post that they were out there for uh, an hour or two. They technically were. I didn't lie again. I didn't want to. I didn't want to say anything bad right after that. It was all. There were a bunch of people on Facebook saying, "Hey, there are cops out there. What's going on?" So I just. I said they were out there for an hour or two. They were technically, uh, but by the time the divers got into the water, got under the bridge in the area that I pointed out, uh, they swam up the shore down back down the shore and when i say the shore i mean probably 20 feet back and forth they did that three or four times it took about 20 minutes um and that was it it was a 20 minute search 20 or 30 minutes max um which i don't know it i was starting to feel frustrated when they already were like let's give up because if if i could scuba dive and get down there i would have been crawling along the bottom or along the side and just looking everywhere for and hopefully i would have seen something ahead of time so i knew what i was even looking for and i would go really carefully until i find something that looks like that it could be covered with silt and blend in with with the rocks i actually did tell the lead guy that description so i think at least he conveyed that to his divers i'm assuming i don't know it was so brief it was 20 or 30 minutes and they were done so i'm just hoping that he looks at the video and goes back decides to go back or if he decides you know it's nothing that's okay too and move on but uh i don't know I, as i was thinking more about it it just it didn't sit right with me uh, today I'm going to Kingsport. I'm going back to Kingsport. Uh, I'm, this is one for Donna. Uh, whether or not you like Donna, there are locations there that are important because they're typical types of places where people do put things. So this is along the river. So there's two areas of the river I want to go to now. Uh, this is uh, Phipps Island, I think it's called. Phipps Island. It's from the green belt you can get to it and uh you basically walk along this strip of land i think there's some water i'm gonna have to get through so i've got my waders and then i want to get on the far side of phipps island that i don't think many people go to a lot of fishermen go on the first part near the path uh, but the island part further on i think it's fewer people go there because you do have to walk through some water i think i'm hoping the water level is low it it fluctuates between six feet to four feet 
uh, depending on if they're generating at the dam. So uh, we'll see. I'm not sure if they're generating today. I haven't had a chance to check the table online. Uh, but if it's low enough, I'll be able to get two more, maybe some of the other islands. Um, I do want to get back to where we saw the homeless folks before with that tunnel. There's like a culvert, huge culvert in there. I'm going to go back over there. Uh, if I see folks, I might I might talk to them. Um, and then there's a place, I think it's on Industry Drive. Not sure. I, I have it on the map. I have it pinned on the map. It's like a V-shape in the river. And someone mentioned there's both a medium and someone who is studying the satellite images where they said it looks like there's something in the water at the, the V near the train tracks. Uh, there's a train bridge, I think, there. But there's a lot of train tracks anyway. And uh, the river kind of V's off. I'll show you on the map. I'll actually show you the map right here. So you can see there's like a V shape to the river. It branches off. It's a smaller part of the that part of the river. Uh, I want to see if there really is an object in there. And uh, if I can wade in, I will. I just don't know how deep it is. So we're going to do some. Probably get a little wet today if, uh, if the water's deep. But uh, let's get over there and uh, let's start searching. All right, I'm at the trailhead for Phipps Island. Uh, it's kind of the, the, the uh, I think it's the Rutherford Inn. I think it's the Rutherford Mansion. It's up on the hill, so it's that end, the trailhead at that end of the park. The trail's pretty long and there's a lot of islands, so I'm going to start at Phipps Island. I might stop at some of the other trailheads near other islands. I have a scope with me as well. I'm bringing a lot of gear, uh, the scope as well as waders. And um, if I can't get on an island because of the water, because of the depth of the water, I'll try to use a scope and at least um, take a look that way. So let's get going on this one. Right, technical challenges as usual. The crossing from the strip of land to Phipps Island. Uh, I spoke with one of the fishermen and um, he said it's about six feet. You can see the water flowing pretty swiftly through it. So I mean, no way I'm wading across that. I'm gonna have to use plan B, which is uh, using my um, 
using my uh, binoculars or my scope. Uh, but first I'm going to check underneath the bridge here. I'm going to go down to the water. And then I'm going to go alongside the land across from the river, across from these islands, and, uh, and start using my scope on these. Insulated cat box for strays. That's kind of cute. Pretty clean under here, not a whole lot. There was that uh, homemade cat box for stray cats. Uh, water's pretty deep, but it's clear. I can see all along the shore at least, maybe 10, 15 feet out. And uh, it's clean. I don't know if they keep this part of the park clean possibly. I think they do, but I'm gonna go up to uh, the Jeep, find some land across from these islands and see if I can Use the scope. Beautiful estates here, but uh, no access to the shoreline. Unfortunately, all houses all along that side. The other side's far from land, but there's a golf course, I think. Probably also not publicly accessible. So Phipps Island's not gonna be possible to uh, use the scope on, unfortunately. Gonna have to figure out another way to, to get on there. Uh, I'm gonna go a little further down the green belt and check out some of the other islands with the scope.
set up here and take a closer look. All right, so I'm actually really happy with um, the clarity. I know it's a little shaky at times, but I do have it on a tripod. So when there's an object or something I really wanna take a good look at, I kind of move it in position so it stays where I need to see. And uh, the phone connects to it. Um, and with the zoom on the phone, you can get full screen. Um, and I'm happy with it. I, mean, I could see really well. I could see the birds up close as I, I think you could see there. Um, I could have zoomed in more on the birds, but I'm not here to bird watch. Uh, I did surprisingly see like a washed up sandal or a shoe or something. And uh, the leaves down here got in the way a little bit of the far end of the island. You saw, I probably saw that where it got a little blurry, but this, is, this one's pretty open. I can see the ground from here. Uh, and with the zoom, I mean, I was able to see so close. I could see the ground next to the birds. 
and I saw all the way to the end over there. Branches, again, got a little bit in the way in the middle of the island, but I'm happy with this approach. This is the first time I've tried this, and it's exciting because I still have, that was only 20X, I can go up to 60X zoom. This is one of those um, uh, sniper scopes that go like really far out, so I was on the minimum zoom for that one any closer, and it just, I, it gets all blurry because I don't need the distance. Uh, I'm gonna get back to the Jeep, look on the map, find some more of the islands, and I'm gonna do this a few more times. Hopefully I've got a better, uh, more comfortable setup point. Here I had to kind of crawl on the rocks and everything, but um, I like this, so I'm gonna do that. If I hit the area with the underpass and the train bridge, I'm gonna take a walk down there first, uh, I, at, whenever I get there, and um, again, if I see some folks underneath the bridge, I'm gonna talk to them this time. But let's get going, because I don't wanna burn too much time. I got a whole afternoon for this, so I wanna hit as many of these islands as I can. All right, this stop is the Industry Drive Trailhead. I'll show you where I am on the map now. Should be able to get a good setup point to see this island over here. And um, I might have to get several points, but I'll do it section at a time. All right, that was a pretty big island. I could do this whole side um, with the trees kind of getting in the way a little bit. Lots of wildlife, bare ground. I mean, I I did clips and uh, it actually took quite a while to do, to scan that. That's a big piece of uh, island. So I had to position myself at one point, do the beginning, then go kind of halfway, move down the shore. And then I went to a fence post and did the end of it. Uh, it's beautiful land sunny day so it makes it better to a little better to uh, get a good view and uh, I met a couple of interesting characters here interesting Kingsport characters anyway I'm gonna move on to the next island actually I should probably do the train tracks
All right, the one, there's one place I really wanted to get to today. I think I have just enough time. And that is the, uh, there's the V in the river. I actually have to go back around to the other side, all the way past Domtar. I'll, uh, I'll show you on the map where I'm talking about. Short drive and I might have to use waders to get in there, but I want to see if there's actually an object in the water like it looks like from the satellite view. It could just be a rock, but we'll take a look. All right, I uh, was gonna leave about an hour, almost an hour ago, but I met this awesome dude uh, down by the bridge after I was done searching the culvert. Um, he's a uh, local, lives over here, but he's from Rogersville, has land in Rogersville, knows folks there. And uh, we talked for a while. It's the type of guy that you just, enjoy talking to you know good old boy from uh from the holler and um and uh, he was telling me stories about when he went out hunting when he was a kid and some of the things he's seen in the woods out there um so i told him my channel and my name obviously and hopefully we can hook up and um chat again and actually maybe even spend some time on his land at his land and uh yeah that was kind of cool that was fun nice meeting you man i already forgot your name i think it was dennis i hope dennis <laughs> it was nice meeting you um but yeah i gotta get to that v in the river now and uh still enough daylight so i should have plenty of time to take a look around if i have to wade in don't know but i will uh Maybe, well, maybe the camera might be good enough to see if there's an object under there, but it's visible from satellite, so that means, hopefully that means that um, it can be seen from above the water. So I'm gonna head over there now and take a quick look. Yeah, this is the, behind me is the V in the water. Uh, it's kind of uh, where the, the river breaks in two, right behind me over here, right in front of me over here. It's actually a fisherman down there. There's the edge of the land right there. The river goes that way and this way. There is that pier right there, which more than likely is the square, is the object that people see or saw. And this is very shallow, actually. I don't know who owns that land. I see some fence posts, white fence posts. There's shore over there. I'm gonna wade in with my waders. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of walk through this area right here and then maybe even go up on land just to see what's in the water. But I can't see much being in there because it's so shallow. Ah, oh, nice. Very clear water. Very clear. I could see everything. everything 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 on the bottom That would be fun to explore. Unless that's the track. That might be the railroad track. Hey, duck. Uh, homeless.
Yeah. Park. Yeah, looks like an old park. Not really in the mood for searching a homeless encampment though. This looks like an old abandoned park. Anybody home? Yeah, it's movement. All right, let's keep going. I'm not doing that today. I do not feel adventurous enough to uh, to do this without my firearm. I really wasn't expecting to find anything here. Didn't realize there was like an old walking path, like an old abandoned park. And up there, who knows? So, checked out the water. Um, water's so shallow, there is absolutely no way there's anything in that water. I do see that chair. Deer, deer tracks. It is so weird. The just surprisingly secluded spot so close to civilization. It's just strange. And uh, near civilization, then you've got you've got a homeless population and they've got to live somewhere, so they live out here. Cross right here. Strange spot. I was gonna take my sidearm and go in there today, but if that's someone who lives there, I really don't want to invade their space. And I'm really curious. But it's getting late in the day. I know I've cleared the water. Um, the tip of land over there, nothing on it. Tent, homeless tent, or homeless encampment is a little weird, but um, anyway, that's it for this week. Hope you all enjoyed this kind of mishmash of locations but again I'm just trying to hit all these spots that I've heard about people have mentioned as potentially important so checked it out checked off the list and next week move on to the next one so thanks for coming along and I'll see you all next time